We've made it to California. Um, Agnes uh, Vinazzo, Vinazzo, is it Vinazzo? Vianzo, sorry. Backcountry uh, is with the Backcountry Trails program at the uh, California Conservation Corps. Agnes was born in Los Angeles, grew up, grew up in Southern California, decided to uh, spend a year being a ski bum, and it ultimately led to uh, the CCC Backcountry crew, Trails crew. Her first season as a Corps member, she spent in King, Kings Canyon National Park, and I believe she's been connected to Kings Canyon uh, ever since. Um, Agnes has spent three seasons as the uh, Backcountry Trails Camp Supervisor working in the Stanislaus National Forest, Kings Canyon National Park, and the Inyo National Forest. And uh, she's currently serving as the Recruitment and Supervisor Coordinator for their Backcountry Program. Agnes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you all today. Thank you to the Wilderness Society. Uh, when I found, stumbled upon the CCC back into your webpage, honestly, I had no idea that the CCC existed. Uh, no prior knowledge and quickly learned what it was. Uh, the CCC today, based off the Civilian Conservation Corps, 18 to 25 year olds from California that devote a year of public service towards improving and protecting California parks, communities, wilderness areas. Project work for the CCC includes planting trees, trail work, fish habitat restoration, park construction, energy surveys, efficiency implementations, and disaster response. When I was a Backcountry uh, Corps member in 2002, the Backcountry Trails program is one of the special programs of the CCC. There's also, like I said, uh, fish habitat restoration, salmon restoration programs. Uh, there's an Australia program. Um, there is no way that 12 years ago, standing in Kings Canyon for the first time that I ever thought I'd be standing here, talking to you folks. Uh, it launched my life. It completely changed the direction of where I thought I was heading. Uh, you know, I had a, a, a environmental studies degree from Santa Barbara. Wasn't sure where that was going to lead me. Uh, found this program that puts young adults in the mountains for five months straight. Some crews don't see pavement that entire time, away from civilization, no cell phones, no TV. Uh, I had no previous hiking experience, backpacking experience. They give you a list of what to bring. I brought all the wrong stuff. Uh, and so it's, it's a pretty intense wilderness experience, especially for your first go. Uh, but I was lucky uh, that led me to five seasons as an NPS trail worker in Kings Canyon. Uh, continued to, to work with backcountry CCC Corps members. Um, came back to the CCC as a supervisor, as Michael lined out, and still with the program today. Uh, six crews for five months throughout California, uh, comprised of both current CCC Corps members and AmeriCorps Corps members from all over the nation. We work all summer in national parks, national forests to make trails safer and accessible. Uh, that's why we're all here, of course. In 36 seasons of the Backcountry Program, we've improved over 10,000 miles of trail, and I hope that, that goes for another 36 seasons. Uh, right now, our members, um, as Liz stated, they, you know, there are eight weeks into the program. Some of our crews are over 20 miles into the backcountry, hiking three to 20 miles a day, 40 to 60 pounds on their back. Uh, trail maintenance, brushing, logging, dry stone masonry. Uh, the backcountry program provides an opportunity not only to do trail work and to give that public service, but more importantly, it is an intentional, positive community, something that um, I think is lacking, something that a lot of folks don't have the opportunity to experience. And it's 24-7 with the same people, day in and day out. Uh, you can't, once you're into the backcountry, you don't leave and go home and visit your family and friends. The only connection is through snail mail, through the post office, on mule trains that are delivered once a week. Um, Probably after many tries, uh, our core members finally learn 
um, maybe for the first time, how to communicate effectively, how to have compassion for their fellow crewmates, how to have empathy. Uh, by living in these close quarters, probably the biggest lesson is what they learn about themselves and who they are. And certainly the biggest lesson that I learned. Over the course of these five months, the program is extremely transformative, to say the least. Uh, <clears throat> it is my hope that we can continue to send our members into the backcountry year in and year out as I had the opportunity because the program and these wild places were available and that we can continue to send our members in there, learn what they can from the mountains and come out changed and alive, have the opportunity to return whenever they need to, to rejuvenate and have that experience to carry them with them for whatever they do in the rest of their lives. So, thank you very much.